In a few weeks, I'm going on a 50 mile hike. But it's not your average or normal everyday hike. That's because the plan is to do this entire hike in one go, in one shot. We're not stopping, we're not pitching a tent, we're not doing any of that stuff. And right now, I'm testing gear that I'm bringing on that hike to see if it'll cut the cheese. Cut the cheese, what the? <laughs> to see if it will cut the mustard. Mustard does work better, but why am I, why is it always food references? So my buddy and I got to chatting. We came up with an idea that we thought was going to be fun, challenging. Um, we're gonna do this in one go. 50 miles in one shot. Full send, just poosh. So I've been doing a lot of gear testing. Jeez, these mosquitoes are terrible. And trying out new stuff for that hike. And that's what this video is about. Just everything, my whole gear loadout for this 50 mile hike. All right, without further ado, let's get into the gear. First things first is a Trail Buddy trekking pole. This thing's awesome. It costs 20, 40 bucks for the pair. I'm only bringing one, but it's a really cheap, affordable trekking pole. And I have Lecky trekking poles, and I actually prefer the Trail Buddies over the Leckies. So it's coming with me. This is the Osprey Duro 15. So this is a new pack to me taking it on like three or four hikes at this point. It's done pretty well. Um, it has a lot of storage, as you can tell. It has one, two, three pockets here, another pocket. It has pockets everywhere. We'll go over that in a second. But I've actually divided my pack into two sections. One section is the utility section, and then this section is like my consumable section. So let's just dig right on in, and I'll pull stuff out and kind of show you. So some SPF 50. We have a micro squeeze by Sawyer. This thing needs a lot of love and a lot of back flushing, but other than that, it's a good little filter. Um, this is a bug net for your head. It's just really buggy lately. Uh, some insect wipes. And then some hand sanitizer. Little bottle I bought from Amazon. You can get these too. Uh, it's a leak proof and I just put hand sanitizer in this one. It's great. And as you can tell, this hip belt pocket is really big. You can hold a lot of gear in there. And then it has a little pocket on the outside as well. Let's just keep going up this side of the backpack. So here, the first pocket on the shoulder strap is a buff, outdoor research buff. It's just a tube buff. Love this thing, I use it all the time. And then second pocket here is a little action camera. This is the DJI Action 2. Comes with a magnet so you can throw it right on your pack and it doesn't fall off, so it's great for some action shots. Again, that's the DJI Action 2. And then this third pocket here, I have a little tripod by Ulanzi. So it comes out a little bit, turns into a tripod. It's very compact, very small, so it's perfect for this kind of application. And that's pretty much it on that side of the pack. So on this side, again, is mainly consumables like food, water stuff. So we'll go through it real quick, just food and this hip belt pocket, electrolytes here on this outside pocket. So it's the same pocket structure on this side as it is on that side. So you got this big hip belt pocket and this little pocket on the outside. So more food, first pocket, more food, second pocket, third pocket, I am bringing some sort of water bottle. This isn't it because it doesn't fit the Sawyer, but for this video, I'm just throwing this in there. But I need a water bottle for that pocket. Um, but a water bottle will be going there. And then same thing. So you have one, two, three pockets on this shoulder strap. And then on this shoulder strap, the one, two, three pockets plus a fourth, that opens up and it's made for a cell phone, but you can put whatever in there. And it comes with an emergency whistle. And that's it for like, you know, the uh, accessible stuff on your pack as you're hiking along. So let's get into the main body of the pack. Undo that clip. So on the outside pocket, it's a meshy stretch pocket. Just have my raincoat. This is the Outdoor Research Helium 2 raincoat. This is a pretty cool raincoat. It's pretty light, I think seven, eight ounces. Um, 
waterproof pocket there, which is nice. And then you have another pocket on the inside as well. And you can actually tuck the whole jacket into that pocket. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead and close that up. It's also a good layer for you to use to keep warm. So not just for rain, it's also for warmth. And then the second compartment here, the middle compartment, I have my ditty bag. We'll go through that in a second. Um, I have like a mid layer here. Oh, I got like a clump of fur. So this mid layer is the air mesh pullover, quarter zip pullover by Mountain Hardware. I'm actually wearing <laughs> one right now. This is the purple version with a hood actually. This one does not have a hood, it has a quarter zip. Um, this is really nice. It keeps you warm, but it also uh, vents really, really well. That's why I like it. It has almost two applications and it's only about five ounces. I think 4.7 ounces. So really light, love that layer. And then I also have an alpaca beanie. So very light, really don't need th anything too extreme because we're going late summer, early fall. So all this light layering should be just fine. We're not climbing crazy mountains or anything. So in the ditty bag, everybody loves a ditty bag. Should I pull it? I'm just gonna pull it out randomly. Let's go. All right, first things first is the Nightcore NU25 UL headlamp. Everybody loves a Nightcore headlamp. You're not a true hiker or backpacker unless you have this headlamp. So, you know, that's just rule number one. Various charging cords for cameras and phones and headlamps and battery bank. This is a 10,000 milliamp battery bank by Anchor. Um, this is like an emergency kit. Just has various stuff, medicines, a knife, a bunch of Luco tape. I'm bringing a bunch of that. Blisters, I'm sure are inevitable. Uh, emergency stuff, just, you know, safety stuff. Uh, this is a battery for the DJI Action 2, so just clips on like that and then that thing's charging. So it's a great little camera. And that's it for the ditty bag. Man, boo. So let's move on to the main compartment here. So this will have nothing but food in it. It's all going to be food. So I need a bunch of calories for this hike. And uh, yeah, it's just the way it is. So this whole compartment is basically just going to be food, this big compartment. The main compartment's all gonna be food and water. So here's the water bladder, two and a half liter water bladder by Osprey as well, comes with the pack. So probably more than I need. I probably don't need to carry two and a half liters, but you know what? I got it just in case. So there you go. It's been years since I've used a water bladder, uh, many years. So it'd be nice to like try it. And I think for this application, for this hike, I think it's really gonna come in handy. I think it's gonna work great. I just wanna go over a couple more features of the pack that I think you might like. So you got two sternum straps here and they're really, really like high end and high quality. They're really nice. Uh, but one of the biggest functions and the coolest things I think this pack kind of has is the fact that you can stow trekking poles. I swear, this is just like an Osprey thing. Like, they don't make a backpack unless it can stow a trekking pole. Boom. So now you have your pole stowed out of your hands, and that's especially handy for like filming and stuff, you know, if you're trying to hold a tripod or something. So guys, I really appreciate you watching. This is Nate Hike signing out. Please subscribe if any of this was valuable to you. I would really appreciate that from the depths of my heart. Again, I'll post a video once I do this hike, and hopefully I'll succeed. Not sure. I mean, I've done big distances before, but not over 50 miles, so that's a little scary. Uh, but it's all about pushing yourself and trying new things and, uh, you know, just trying to push your limits, basically. So, so until I see you next time, good night.